In this video, we're going to learn to move our player with the Xbox controller. First of all, to do this, we're going to go and edit Project Settings in Unity. Go up to Edit, select Project Settings and Input. What you're going to do now is add 2 to your axis, axis number. That's going to add two variables. The first one we're going to name Horizontal. Remove any of the other settings. Until we get to Gravity. For Gravity, we enter 0. Next, we'll enter Dead. And we'll set that as 0 0.19. Finally, we'll set sensitivity and we'll set that to 1. And we will select joystick axis. For the second variable, we do the same, except we're going to name this vertical. Remove any of the other settings until we get to gravity. And again, we set that to 0. We set dead to 0.19 and we set sensitivity to 1. For the Y axis, we select the invert button. And for the axis, we select the Y. Now that we've set up our variables, we want to save the scene and save the project. Then we click on the wizard and go to add component and we're going to add a Playmaker FSM. So click on Playmaker FSM and we're going to rename that as player movement or in this case just movement. We now click on the edit button to edit our Playmaker FSM. The first thing we're going to have to do here is add two variables to the FSM. These are going to store the movement and the size of the movement. First thing though is to rename the state to player movement. Then click on the variables, go to new variable and type in move vector. Then select variable type as vector 3. Then click add. The second variable, we're going to click again on new variable and type in magnitude. And that is going to be a float type variable. And that is going to be how much we're actually moving. So Add that variable and that's just for complete with the variables needed for this FSM. The next thing we're going to do is go to the action browser and the first action we're going to add is get axis vector. So you can either type in the whole thing or type in a part of it and the action browser will find it for you. Once we've done that, we click Add. And for this, we're going to set up only the variable which is Move Vector in the Vector field. And for the Magnitude, we select Magnitude. The next thing we're going to do is add controller simple move again get this in the action browser and add it to your FSM once we've done that the vector is going to be move vector and we set speed 
to 3.5, which is a good speed for normal movement in any game. And finally, we add a smooth look at direction. And that is going to turn our character to face the direction they're moving. So we select again the move vector and we set the speed up to around 14. So basically pretty high. And that'll turn our character pretty fast. And it looks quite good. And that is basically our FSM complete. So we'll save the project and save the scene. And finally, the last thing we get to do is basically press the play button. And if you've got your joypad plugged in, you can basically now just move your character around using your Xbox controller. And you can see that they move in the direction and face the direction that they're moving. You'll also find that you can actually use your keyboard keys, W, A, S and D to do the same. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you subscribe I'll be making more. Thanks very much for watching.